So we say one love to Wadala TV is my friend that sailor. Yeah man, give thanks man, it's a pleasure. Are you afraid of this interview? <laughs> it's about, you know, understanding oneself, you know, and the mission that we are on, you know, so never try to fear. Okay. You know, let's see. Uh, I would like to start with your latest music video to Diamond Socks. In this song you sing in Ami Diamond Socks and Mi Wola Big Clogs, Iron Shirt and Mi Mesh Marina. Let's talk about this because I have something for you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why you are in love with Diamond Socks? Well, you know, Diamond Socks have a long history with Jamaica. You know, like back in the days, you know, we were colonized by, you know, the British. So, you know, most of the wealthy men, you know, from England, you know, they used to wear diamond socks. You know, diamond socks was a thing, you know, back then. So, um, it sort of, you know, come off on Jamaicans, you know, and, you know, it's a, it's a dancehall thing, it's a reggae thing, it's a roots thing, you know, it's an original style, you know, that you, that, that people would have wear, like most of the youth, them would have wear diamond socks and them would have kind of broke it up like that, you know. So, it's, it's really like a history. More than just me singing Diamond Socks because it's a socks. You know, give thanks for the socks still, you know, I like it. It's so, different. <laughs> okay, so what about your love to... What about your love to Clarks? Ah, give thanks, man, give thanks. Clarks, no? <laughs> you know, Bunny, Bunny Strikerly said, Clarks is the number one shoe in a Jamaica from the 50s. All other shoes come and bow right down on Clarks' foot. So why Clarks are so popular in Jamaica? And, and then again, we go back to the history of, of England and Jamaica, and Clarks is an original England you know, brand. So that is how the whole originality come, because we stick to enough of the things them, you know, where we grew up come see. You know, it's about originality, and Clarks is a well-made shoe. You know what I'm saying? Is that a free promotion or something? <laughs> no, 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 for sure. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice shoes, you know, and we like Clarks, and it's a Rastaman thing, you know. Rastaman always like the nicest and the finest of everything, so, you know, why not Clarks? Give thanks again, though. Okay, so, I'm, I'm curious, apart from Wallaby Clarks, what is your favorite model? Apart, yeah, like... I, because from the song we know you love wallaby. Like even this shoe that I'm wearing is more like a wallaby weaver clocks. You know, you have different style. I just like a clocks that fit me and looks good in the mirror. <laughs> okay. So last question about uh, the song and last question about the fashion. Uh, for people who don't know, what is iron shirt and what is mesh marina? Well, well, iron shirt is simply like shirts that are designed with more like an arrow tail, you know, it, it has a point. And then mesh marina is, it just simply mesh it marina, you know, like is marina, like undershirt, you know, mesh it. So is, is, is everything, if you watch Diamond Socks, then you see everything and you understand everything that is going on. So I have a mesh marina? <laughs> Check it, let me see. <laughs> no, this is the arrow shirt. Because it has the arrow tail, yeah, man. That is the arrow. That is the arrow. So, uh, let's go straight to music. Uh, I would like to ask you about this. Okay. Max Romeo is a very special person in in your life, isn't he? I think this is one of the most interesting interview I've done. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, give thanks again. Um, it's sort of emotional when they give me a Max Romeo CD because even though working with Max Romeo, you know, like even Max Romeo giving me my seal of approval, you know, to say, you know, you're a talented artist and it is your time to shine now. I've never yet sit down and listen to a full length CD of Max Romeo. Never? Never. And now I've gotten the opportunity too. Not that I've never listened to Max Romeo songs, but I've never yet listened to an e, LP or an album, you know. I just listen to singles, really. So now, and, you know, we're around Max Romeo, like, you know, you know, like almost, like we see Max Romeo, like, on a regular basis, you know. So give thanks again. One love, Max Romeo. You know, working with Max Romeo, what was the best advice he, he ever gave you? 
that not to flood the market with with music you know it's about really finding one song and one song will take you around the world it's about finding the right song and making positive and conscious music you know that can uplift people and put people in different places you know you know take people out of the sorrow mood and bring them to joy and happiness you know he's a kind of man like that you know who just is he's a man with a young soul you know yeah man yeah so uh what was the toughest the hardest lesson which you which you get from i wouldn't say the hardest lesson you know i get from max romeo i would i want to say it's a lesson you know because before i recorded my first single that was added and lost it um we went to the studio like three times you know and we never get a chance for record and on the third day you know we recorded and dub tonic who is on stage now the guitarist who is jalanzo was the engineer at the time and him say what well, max romeo him sound good you know so from then and there you know we just we just start spread out you know we meet fattest borel of exterminator production you know and you know all the producers and artists like jigsy king who you know gave with the opportunity to record and know more people and understand the music on a different level so it start with max romi and then people catch on and you know help us you know along the way what is your favorite uh, song out of this album max romi which you holding in your hand tribal war in babylon it's simple out there it's simple out there war in babylon tribal war in babylon it's simple out there it's simple out there the barber man no like the dreadlocks man Nice. The relaxed man, I like the Baba man, yes. <laughs> no, it's nice, nice that you're singing because my next question is about singing. I've got, I want to show you something. This is, this is Jacob Miller. Do you know what's the a little hey, sim? Take, sim <laughs> what is the little similarity between you and Jacob Miller? I think it's the um the vibrata. Yes, sir. I think so. Um Jacob Miller is one of my artists too. He's one of my favorite artists. And it you know it is so coincidental that you know we sound we have similarity because Jacob Miller wasn't the artist that I listen mostly really. You know it was more like the Altanellis. Um it was more like the smoother singers though. You know the Altanellis and the Bob Marley, you know, it's more like smooth singers, but you know, it's an energy through reggae music and through conscious music, you know, and reggae music have a long history of sound, you know, and style, you know, it's all about style and sound, you know, if you observe artists from back in the days, it's all about like a singing style, you know, once the music is right, then the artists need, you know, a style, and that is how every style, you know, really come about, you know, you can name, you know, more artists who really have the you know the the, the vibrato style you know um george nox elenke yeah you know have, you know have a sort of style like that you know with the artist name when you talk about what they are yeah but um is is it's a singing style you know and we love jacob miller jacob miller is one of my favorite artists too so how did you came with that style when did you think oh i, I would like to sing in vibrato style I think it's how we write songs, you know, initially, like, we established our talent through writing songs and the intention was to find, to write songs and find, you know, popular artists to give these songs to, you know, so as to, you know, really get some kind of establishment, not as an artist or a singer, but as somebody who writes songs. But then, like, after singing and rehearsing and, you know, you know, our peers hear the song, them, they might say, yes, you need to start perform them. And you know we start perform them, and we we just develop the style. It's just natural, you know, really. And I think it have to do with the kind of music we listen to because you know we listen to songs of the 70s and the 80s, you know, which is not from my era, really. You know, I'm a late 80s band. <laughs> I was trying to sing in vibrato style at home, but for a few minutes it was very tiring for me. So, give me give me a song, give me. 
um, so great is the sim I know oh, great is the but it it's tiring for me how how do, how can you sing in in many songs in that style can you give me a free a free little lesson so great is him I know of all our I great is the king of all kings yeah, as well so great is him war our I know of all our I great is the king of all kings yeah as it's a breathing technique breathing yeah, it's a breathing technique okay I have to I have to try at home a little bit more you know thank you for this interview it was pleasure so take this enjoy yourself and yeah, man. All right, give thanks. This is Ibermar from afar, the Black Eater Arar. We're there, Poland. This one is called Regina Piaska. Dub Tonic is on stage. And like, about like 15 minutes. We're going to burn it down. See? So it's a one love to Wadala TV. It's my friend that Sela. I say, I, I let Jali get that way, cause every day. I pray, I send a lead and I lost them way. I Babylon debating in a me diamond socks and me wallaby clocks. I will, 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 I will